Hey friends, visitors, so welcome to my cargo adventure trailer work trailer conversion. So I'm coming down to the end. I am here working on my linear actuator uh, queen size bed. So I've been talking about quite some time. So let me show you, I got this side all balanced out both the uh, linear actuators at the height that I need for level and I did check the level using my tough built level so let me uh, bring her down now the speed of this may not suffice for some people but I'm all good with it everyone's in such a rush and this is moving at a fairly good pace especially if you got the bed weighted and depending on what you're building with right so some of the sound I'm hearing is possible I may need to tweak the linear rails because it should be super nice and smooth or I may need to grease the bearings and the SBR. These are SBRs are aluminum blocks with a bunch of precision bearings. So, oh, so I just went too low because it can only go low as this side. So once I start it up, hopefully it's gonna catch up and come on up. So I gotta be careful. I gotta put a line or something on that other longer one. I wish I knew I could put some sort of cutoff. Check it out. That is something. So once I get that side, I'll loosen up the E track ends from the low bars, the little low bars going horizontally there. And I will have a fully functional queen size linear actuated bed. It's awesome, man. Awesome. There you go. Now, I can't go higher because it's locked in. I don't want to, um, then the very bottom of my load bars because I got it locked in. Uh, I would have to unlock it. I could do some serious damage to the linear actuators and to the frame. This has a lot of force. I think it's got a rating like 650 pounds, 630, 650 pounds, something like that. So something's got to give and I don't want nothing to give. So uh, the reverse polarity power button here doesn't allow you to just click and walk away which is a good safety feature and they do have ones where you can do that but no this is uh, not something that I want to break because I got too much money invested in this now I gotta put the label on the bunt up down pretty cool stuff huh pretty cool stuff see it's uh, actually going down pretty pretty quickly but the lowest point I need to get to is just below that e-track right there the black horizontal bar that's called an e-track then that's the height just right above my motorcycles as far as the seat goes and that's all I need to go There you go. Yeah, it looks like I need to do an adjustment here. I need to raise this up because it's not gonna be able to lock it. So let's see how this worked out for us. Maintaining level. I'm gonna get the level because I heard little binding on one side. Sound alike. So yeah, it did go off a little bit. Let me turn the light on. Yeah, it did go off a little bit when it when this side 
was at its lowest point. So, gotta be careful. So, I gotta realign this baby. But not bad, huh? Not bad. Cheers, everybody. If you like my video, give a thumbs up and subscribe. I gotta work on the other side.